Happy Lady Easter! I hope everyone had a good Easter. Today I'm going to show you how I eat a chocolate bunny. It's made from Russell Stover's. It's not solid chocolate. Good for you, it's good for me, and I hope the whole family gets in on this chocolate goodness. So, I hope you have a chocolate bunny to follow along with me. If you don't, that's okay. If you have multiple chocolate bunnies, good. Good, I hope, I hope you eat it with your silver spoon in your mouth. Anyway, the serving size of this chocolate uh, bunny rabbit is, is one chocolate rabbit, which is good, which is real good because I, I only have one chocolate rabbit. Chocolate rabbits come in a box. Uh, they come in uh, multiple things, but this one is uh, particularly good because it's in a box. Boxes are good. Don't know why, but boxes are good. Watch Castaway. He keeps one. It's for a reason. Boxes are good for you. Boxes help you complete tasks. So next time you're on an island and you meet Aladdin's genie, you want to wish for a chocolate bunny in a box. Because the box will save your day. I don't know even how it got started on this. Don't read the nutrition facts because uh, it'll make you feel guilty. So if you like on a Weight Watchers diet, they probably got something over there for you. But like if you if you like to eat a lot of chocolate bunnies and you, you like a lot of bunnies running around, like they're like Catholic rabbits, you know, then this is pretty good for you. Because like they like they they like it's like a they like reproduce on their own. It's like a asexual Easter miracle. So like uh, if I shake the box, then like a whole bunch of Tootsie babies would just the serving size is good. I mean, you know, that's real good because I I want like if it says serving size is one ear and then next Tuesday you can eat the head. But then freeze the body because next Friday you're just going to have to forget about it and throw it out anyway. No matter if you're in a competition to see how long you can keep your Easter Bunny. I guess what I'm trying to say is go hop on a treadmill. This is 240 calories. But you know I don't blame society because even when I watched VeggieTales as a child, Jadrack, Meshach, and Abednego was all praising a chocolate bunny rabbit. In Popeye cartoons, I didn't think he was eating spinach. The cartoon portrayed the spinach so dark I thought he was chugging chocolate. You know VeggieTales, Bob and Larry's mouth seemed so dry. I I thought they ate chocolate chip cookies before they started speaking. So when I was watching Veggie Tales, I wanted some cookies, mama. Let's open a box. And open a box, smile at your bunny, and say, I believe that you are Cocoa Beanlicious. See, he's just waiting for you to smile at him. He loves you so much. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Everything in society was made for your future knowledge. Star Wars, you remember Han Solo? Hello. Now we all know what this is about. It's not about chocolate. Now if you think it's about chocolate, Turn off this video and go read your Bible. Man. So first things first, we're going to uh, lick the bunny, make sure it's real chocolate. Yeah, that's good. Uh, this is going to get violent for some people at home. So if you get offended with me biting the ears off my chocolate bunny rabbit, then please turn away. So pros and cons. Pros, I feel like I want to go hug a cat. Con, number one con would probably have to be that I feel like my heart is fixing to implode. Good thing about chocolate rabbits, everybody likes them, even George Bush. Well hello America, don't ever forget about the ways of the, the Easter Bunny. It's not all about the chocolate. Alright now someone help me get this crap off my face. N unless it's good for the skin. My skin needs some moisturization. If you know what I'm saying, I need to be moisturificated. <laughs> I mean, don't you forget. You know what I'm saying? Happy Easter.